bacteria is everywhere. In fact, there are more bacteria on Earth than stars in the universe. It takes 20 minutes for a bacterium to split into two, if the conditions are favorable. This means in about eight hours, one bacterium can multiply into 16,777,216 bacteria. Bacteria can be found on rocks, in oceans, soil, and even Arctic snow. Most of these even live on various other organisms, including on us. It's a common belief that bacteria are present only in places that look dirty. However, that's not entirely true. Bacteria can be found in seemingly clean places as well. You'll be surprised to find out about the places bacteria flourish. While not all bacteria is harmful, and some can actually be beneficial to your health, there are numerous disease-causing bacteria, which are. I'm Mike with List25, and in this list, we will teach you about 25 surprising places bacteria thrive you won't believe. And as an added bonus, we've also included ways you can combat all this bacteria buildup. 25. Comforter. Bacteria and germs find our beds just as cozy as we do. They can be found there in abundance. Plus, did you know that bacteria feed on the dead skin we shed while sleeping? Dusting your sheets and comforter well before and after use and washing them every week or two can prevent bacteria from accumulating. 24. Mouth guard. While playing certain sports, you may be required to use a mouth guard. More often than not, people pop them into their mouths without washing them properly, which can lead to bacterial infections. These need to be cleaned thoroughly before and after every use. When not in use, most people store it in a container or just their backpack. Because it picks up so many germs from your mouth, which then just multiply in the container, it becomes potentially harmful. Even more so if you've touched it with dirty hands or dropped it on the floor and then put it in your mouth. Never use your mouth guard without washing it thoroughly. You may need to scrub it with a mouthwash and rinse it. Treasure your health and don't compromise it just for a moment of ease. 23. Pet Toys I understand your love for your pets. However, understanding the extent to which their toys carry bacteria is very important. If you don't take action to clean, sanitize, and disinfect these pet toys, you're pretty much just inviting bacterial infections in for you and your family. I recommend you scrub your pet's hard toys with a mild bleach solution along with soap and water. And as far as the soft toys go, just throw them in the washer. 22. Cafeteria. A cafeteria is a place where you go to eat. Duh. However, the amount of people moving in and out of this place while talking, eating, coughing, sneezing, and doing all sorts of other things makes this place a hub for bacteria. Food that falls onto the floor, spilled drinks, and numerous other such incidents add to the germ accumulation. I recommend you use hand sanitizer for your hands and try cleaning your seating area with a disinfectant wipe, if possible. Most importantly, wash your hands vigorously before and after your visit to the cafeteria. 21. Light Switches Light switches are one of the places in a house or an office that pretty much everyone has access to. Even random people can access light switches and handle them, and you have no idea what their sanitary status is. Really, any place with tons of people touching it carries a plethora of germs. Clean the light switches with disinfectant wipes, and wash your hands thoroughly after touching the switches. 20. Money. Money changes hands many times before it reaches yours. Since you don't know the hygienic condition of those hands, it's a pretty safe bet that those coins or notes may carry germs and bacteria. According to research, money carries more bacteria than a toilet. Often, banknotes and coins feature pathogens like Salmonella, E. coli, and Staphylococcus aureus that may cause serious illness. Wash your hands after touching money. Avoid contact with your eyes, nose, and mouth to prevent any infection. 19. Cell phone. You use your cell phone almost 
constantly. You're probably using it right now to watch this video. During the day, you eat, sneeze, cough, and touch different surfaces while using your cell phone, thus exposing it to all kinds of germs and bacteria. Some people even use their phones in the bathroom. When you take your phone into the bathroom with you and you flush, airborne fecal particles infect your cell phone with harmful bacteria. I would recommend you wipe your phone with an antibacterial cloth or disinfectant spray. Wash your hands before eating and avoid using your phone during your meals. Most importantly, avoid taking your phone to the bathroom with you. 18. Shopping Carts As a general rule of thumb, anything that's open to random people's touch is prone to carry bacteria. Shopping carts are one of the most common items used by random people. You have no idea who touched your cart before you. You can clean the handle with a disinfectant wipe before you use it, all the meanwhile avoiding touching your mouth, nose, and eyes to prevent any infection. Thoroughly wash your hands afterward with soap. 17. Salt and Pepper Shakers People often use salt and pepper shakers while eating, and at restaurants, once again, they've been handled by... who knows? Although it's difficult to digest, that germs can accumulate at a place you sit and eat, being handled by various people absolutely affects the cleanliness of the salt and pepper shakers on the table. Clean them thoroughly with disinfectant wipes while cleaning the table or kitchen counter. 16. Faucet Handles Faucet handles are hard to keep clean, as you literally can't wash your hands before touching them. All the germs and grime brought by different people's hands result in dirty faucet handles. And unfortunately, not everyone bothers to clean them afterward. You can wash the handle with soapy water after washing your hands. You can also clean and disinfect your faucet handles thoroughly with antibacterial wipes or disinfectant spray, though you should do this daily. 15. Keyboard the keyboard is another pool where bacteria may flourish. If you eat while working at your keyboard, you're more likely to leave tiny food crumbs all over the place. These food particles are more than enough for bacteria to party on. Touching your keyboard without washing your hands, sneezing, coughing, eating, and many other activities during use can lead to bacterial outbursts. You don't want to get sick just because you weren't careful with your gadget. We recommend you wash your hands vigorously before and after using the keyboard. Clean your keyboard with disinfectant wipes thoroughly. You can also use disinfectant sprays available in the market, which are safe to use with electronics. 14. Kitchen Counters The kitchen counter is the surface where you do almost all of your cutting, cooking, kneading, so there's a strong chance of bacteria infestation here. According to some studies, coliform is the bacteria most often found on kitchen counters. You can spray a disinfectant solution, like bleach and water, on the countertop and let it air dry or wipe it down with a clean cloth. 13. Toothbrush holders. Here's an interesting fact. People often wash their toothbrush, but they seldom wash their toothbrush holders. Somehow, it doesn't occur to many people as a must-do chore. However, washing and cleaning the toothbrush holder is as important as washing your toothbrush. If mold, yeast, or bacteria accumulate in these holders, it will definitely affect the cleanliness of your toothbrush. In addition to that, as I discussed earlier, the placement of your toothbrush holder in close vicinity of the toilet can result in the settling of fecal matter on its surface. I would recommend that you put it in a cabinet to avoid this. Also, wash it thoroughly every day or two with hot soapy water. 12. Backpacks Backpacks contain a variety of items, ranging from books, clothes, and gadgets to food items. Moreover, you place your backpack on numerous surfaces, oblivious to the fact that these places may contain germs and bacteria. If you sweat while wearing it, this will also add to the bacteria accumulating factors on your backpack. While backpacks are the ultimate travel bag solution, lots of germs and bacteria can flourish at the bottom and the entire outer surface as well. 
I would recommend that you be careful when touching your mouth, eyes, and nose after touching your backpack. Wash your hands thoroughly with, wash your hands thoroughly with soap. If the backpack is washable, wash it once every week or clean it with an antibacterial disinfectant cloth. Just open it up, clean it. Eleven. Menus. The menus you get at a restaurant are often potential carriers of germs and bacteria. Bacteria flourishes on anything many people touch. At a restaurant, the server not only handles the menu and food, but they also deal with the dirty dishes. The patrons also handle it casually. They may cough or sneeze, and that's not to mention their possibly unwashed hands. I would recommend that you avoid touching your mouth, eyes, or nose when handling the menu. After placing your order, wash your hands thoroughly with soap before having your meal. Or you can use hand sanitizer. 10. Computer Lab A place like a computer lab where different people visit during the day is a very likely place for bacteria to thrive. Every person brings different kinds of germs with them depending on where they've previously been. Not everyone bothers to clean or sanitize their hands before touching the computers, keyboards, chairs, and numerous other things in the lab. Sneezing, coughing, and multiple such actions can create a ruckus of germs. I would recommend that you avoid touching your mouth, nose, and eyes while using a computer in the computer lab. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap afterward to avoid any infection. Nine, TV remote. A TV remote is the most commonly used household item. Everyone always wants to be in control of it. But do you know, TV remotes contain numerous germs and bacteria? Everyone is touching this magical device, but not everyone is careful with the cleaning of their hands. You never know what kinds of germs someone's hands might hold. Moreover, the TV remote often falls on the floor, is stuffed between sofa cushions, and on top of all that, people eat food, cough, and sneeze while watching TV, all the while handling the remote. All these situations result in the accumulation of tons of germs and bacteria. However, even after all of that, you can still try and keep it clean. Use a disinfectant wipe to sanitize it thoroughly, or you can use a spray, then wipe it clean. Additionally, always wash your hands before holding your TV remote. Eight, coffee makers. Did you know that one of the best places for bacteria to thrive lies in the reservoirs of a coffee maker? The damp and dark atmosphere in the coffee maker's reservoir serves as a hotbed. Yeast and mold accumulate there. I know, it's, it's gross to find out bacteria is infesting a place that you seek vigor. You can follow the instructions provided in the manual to clean your coffee maker, or I can help you clean your coffee maker's reservoirs through some home remedies. You can add three to four cups of white undiluted vinegar to the reservoir. Vinegar is an excellent disinfectant. Let it sit for a good half hour, then brew it. Next, run two to four cycles of fresh clean water until the smell vanishes. Seven, cutting boards. The cutting board is prone to accumulate bacteria heavily. You use these to cut raw meat, vegetables, fruits, and other various items. All of these products leave some residue on it. You can expect heavy bacteria infestation, including yeast, mold, and coliform on cutting boards if not washed properly. You can wash them using a dishwashing liquid with hot soapy water or in a dishwasher. Then place it vertically to dry well. I assume yours is bigger than this. This was a annual pass holder giveaway at Disney. So this one's good for cheese, really. It's very small. Six, bathtubs. The bathtub is another shocking place that makes the list. How can a place where you take a bath and clean yourself be good for bacteria to thrive? Well, initially the bacteria accumulates in the pipelines where the water is held. When you open the faucet, these bacteria make it to the bathtub and stay there. Not all of them go down the drain. 
They multiply fast, and the hot, steamy conditions serve as a catalyst. You can clean and disinfect your bathtub by spraying white vinegar or any good disinfectant on the market. Let it sit for a while, and then scrub it off with a heavy-duty damp sponge. I would recommend you clean it twice a week. 5. Toothbrush Are you surprised to see your toothbrush on this list? It's shocking to find the item you use to clean your teeth and mouth on a list of bacteria-infested places. Let me explain how it ends up here. Toothbrushes are genuinely kept in the bathroom. If left in a human place, they won't dry immediately, thus allowing bacteria to grow. Moreover, when you flush the toilet, fecal germs and bacteria shoot into the air in the form of aerosol spray, the phenomenon widely known as toilet plume, as we've mentioned several times before. These mist particles can land anywhere in the bathroom, including the toothbrush. I would recommend that you either put your toothbrush in a cabinet or outside the bathroom. In addition, always close the toilet lid before flushing. Four, dish rags and sponges. Did you know that the sponges you use for washing your dishes are a hotbed for bacteria? These dirty sponges provide the ideal condition for them to flourish. Studies reveal that dirty dish sponges contain yeast, mold, and even staphylococcus in some cases. When you use them to wash dishes, it's like circulating the germs from one utensil to another. Similarly, dishcloths may accumulate germs and bacteria from repeated use. I would recommend that you opt for a reusable dishcloth instead of using a regular one. If you still prefer using a rag, wash it with hot water every day or so. For cleaning your sponge, you could microwave your wet sponge for a minute or two, or boil it for several minutes to disinfect. I would also recommend that you change your sponge after every two weeks. 3. Kitchen Sink Isn't it ironic that the place you do most of the cleaning is the dirtiest of all? Kitchen sinks rank in the top 5 items when it comes to the accumulation of bacteria. If dirty dishes are left unwashed in the sink, it invites the rapid multiplication of harmful bacteria. You wash all the dirty dishes and various other things in your sink. All that filth that goes down the pipe results in bacterial infestation. You need to clean your sink twice a week while giving special attention to its sides, the strainer, and the bottom. Use any good disinfectant or you can use a solution of one tablespoon of bleach with a quarter cup of water and pour it down the drain. And yeah, I really do think it's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you've already paid. I should probably stop recording. Two, carpets, floors, and rugs. Bacteria is already present all over the floor. Fortunately, these are not very harmful. However, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Clean your floor and mop it with disinfectants. I would recommend that you don't eat anything you accidentally drop onto the floor as it takes less than a second for the bacteria to stick to your food. So you can just forget that five second rule. Carpets and rugs carry germs, dust, and bacteria that accumulate over time. In fact, you might be surprised to know that almost 4,000 times more bacteria may thrive in your carpet as compared to a toilet seat. I would recommend that you steam clean your carpet by using hot water with a suitable detergent. You can also use a solution of vinegar to disinfect and clean the carpet or rugs. 1. Doorknobs, Handrails, and Cabinet Handles Things like handrails, doorknobs, and cabinet handles are touched by a lot of people. You don't know where these people have been, what the status of their hygiene is, whether they carry any diseases, etc. Bacteria not only thrive in these areas, but also spread from one place to another with every new hand. You can clean and disinfect doorknobs, handrails, and cabinet handles in your house by using disinfecting wipes. You can also use a solution of bleach with water or undiluted vinegar to spray on the desired areas. 
Afterward, you can choose to scrub and clean them with a cloth or let them air dry. However, you can't always clean the doorknobs, handrails, or whatever in public places. So in this situation, I would recommend that you wash your hands thoroughly afterward. So did any of these places surprise you? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list25 or to me personally at Michael B. Estrin. And if you like this video, check out the ones in this playlist here.